What's going on, YouTube? Uh, another Detron does it. We're going to build something. I don't know what yet. I'm going to get some wood, plywood, go to Lowe's. It got a long weekend, three days. Um, yeah. I think I'm gonna try to make that, and try to make that, and try to make that. I think we're gonna try to make that sign up there. Um... All right guys, uh, we can't create on an empty stomach, so we got some pieology, eh, mama? And beer. Time to smash. Dunzo. Except that thing, nothing but crumbs. Man, so many options for paintbrushes and rollers. You know what? I'm just gonna go with this one. Like I know what I'm doing anyway. Man, like. This, this, there's like a whole aisle of rollers and paintbrushes. Hmm. And now we're entering the world of tools. I need a saw. Not a handsaw, because I already got one of those. Time to upgrade to something that plugs in. We are back at the house. Uh, time to start this random wood project. I know I mentioned that I wanted to try to make that believe sign. I don't have an ability to cut metal. Uh, and so we are probably going to make the middle portion of the sign out of something that we can cut off of the cricket. Yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's pretty much it. We're gonna throw my headphones on, get in the zone and uh, get going. So, uh, I am all done with cutting wood. So I got four two by ones and a sheet of plywood and I was able to get these three frames. So I got one larger uh, and two smaller frames. Again, I did this one with the offset setting. This one is flush on all four sides, so it's the larger one. And I still got uh, more plywood here and another two by one, so I could probably make another one large one or two smaller ones with the scraps that I have plus um, the, uh, the other materials. Uh, but now it is time to sand and then we'll, we'll throw some, some paint or some stain on them. All right, let's go.
as you will hear about a little bit later on in the video, uh, has some issues with the brad nailer. So uh, I am trying my best with glue and some nails to get this thing together, which is coming. It's coming along. Uh, I can't say that it looks perfect, and it's definitely not the way that I intended it to go. Uh, but it's it's, uh, it's looking like a frame. Right, guys well gotta run back to Lowe's the brad nailer that I got awesome little device uh, problem is it doesn't work for the size or width of wood that I got uh, the nails just don't make their way through so it's handy but it doesn't really help uh, so I'm gonna go see if I can get the right size nails for the brad nailer and if that doesn't work the old hammering nails gonna have to do so the finished product doesn't look too bad uh, it's together, it's straight, it's a frame. All right guys, so we are back in the garage. It is bonkers hot in here, but that's what Texas nights are like, I guess. Uh, really, I just wanted to show you the update for the woodworking project. So this is the second frame that we have almost got complete. The first one is done and you guys will see that at the end. Uh, this one, I'll show you some of the work that we're doing. Uh, so if you can check it out, uh, it says love has no coordinates. And then there's five different states. So Michigan, Nevada, Oregon, California, and Texas. Those are all five states that me and my wife have lived together in. Uh, and it really represents our journey together, how our love has developed despite, you know, state lines and traveling and um, having to, to move around a lot. Uh, so really excited about the way it's turned out so far. So we've got the frame itself that we put together. I don't know if you guys can see that there are nails um, here in the bottom of the frame. So next, uh, what we'll do is we're going to not apply the white on white. We actually have another little tree that we're gonna do with the states. Uh, then we'll get the Cricut cutouts laid and maybe seal it. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited. And then we'll move on to the third one, which should be pretty simple. I haven't figured out the design yet, uh, but we'll, we'll come up with something, I'm sure. So here's the Cricut machine running. Uh, my wife set it up uh, to cut out some of the designs that I was showing you a preview of for the large sign. Okay, YouTube, I think it's time to wrap this video up. Uh, but we learned a lot throughout this video. And by we, I mean me. Uh, Use a circular saw for the first time. Found out that uh, brad nailers require different kinds of nails. We use the Cricut for the first time with the help of my wife to get these designs cut out. Uh, I think the final product came out really nice. I'll show you that here in a second, but just want to say thanks for coming. Uh, thanks for riding along on this you know, 10 minute, 11 minute journey with me. Uh, if you enjoyed, like, share, subscribe. If you don't, well, I guess I won't be mad at you. So there you have it. There's the uh, love has no coordinate sign. Uh, representing Michigan, Nevada, Oregon, California, and Texas. And then you also have the always enjoy the little thing sign, which is, um, I think I actually like that one a lot more than when I initially put it together. And then we still have the third sign up there that is unfinished, but just waiting for design. Well, that's it, guys. Uh, catch you next time. Peace.